Hey guys and welcome back to Everything DIY. We recently acquired some LED headlights and since we already own some HIDs and halogens, we thought it would be the perfect time to do a comparison of all three headlights telling you the advantages and the disadvantages of each. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is brightness because it seems like that's kind of the main thing people consider when they're upgrading their headlights. So what we did was that we put each of the three headlights into our Mazda Speed 3 then we adjusted them to the same level so that they're exact same height and we took pictures of each of the three so that you can see what they look like and I'm going to show that to you now. As you may be able to tell in the pictures, the clear winner in this case is the HIDs, which has the highest level of output. And second are the LEDs, which are still pretty good. And then third are the halogens, which have noticeably less than the others. This moves us on to our next topic of discussion, which is also very important, and that's how the light is dispersed on the road. So for the light dispersion test, what we did, again, was we installed each of the three headlights into our car, and we took footage each time of how they looked on a dimly lit road. So check that out now. Okay, so in this test, again, as you can see, the HIDs are the clear winner. They provided the same amount of space as the halogens, but they were also emitting more light and they were able to go a further distance. We were a bit surprised by the LEDs, to be honest. While they were brighter than the halogens and not far off from the HIDs, they did a poor job of dispersing light onto the road, which we found interesting. Okay, so after having inspected the bulbs on these headlights, we can see why the LEDs may be having this issue. If you can see the HIDs and the halogens, they have more potential to emit light in every direction. Um, so we have an all-encompassing view or reflective opportunity, whereas on the LEDs, you only have two surfaces to emit light and reflect, which can be very limiting. So we're not just pointing to this one brand of LED. We've actually tried a bunch of LED headlights, and they all seem to kind of have the same sort of issue in that they have a very particular directionality because they maybe only have one or two diodes that are pointing to very certain specific spots and they don't have an all-encompassing emitting light. And this is definitely something that you want to consider. So I'm going to talk about glare for a little bit and it is important even though it's something that a lot of people don't really consider when they're upgrading their headlights but it is something that you should think about because you really don't want to be one of those drivers that's like blinding everybody else on the road. So we can say with some confidence and after quite a bit of vigorous testing that none of the lights in these videos provided any significant glare to oncoming drivers. But, and this is a big but, this is only because we use the correct type of housing. Plain and simple, HIDs and LEDs should only be used in projected housing with height adjustment. These bulbs simply have too much light to have their beams reflected on an entire non-projected housing and scattered all over the road. And this can cause a tremendous amount of glare. So color is definitely something that a lot of people start to consider when they're thinking about upgrading their headlights because a lot of people really don't like that yellowish hue they get with their halogens. So right now we're going to compare and contrast the color you can get with each of the different bulbs. So headlights color, or as it's also known as temperature, generally measured in what's called degrees Kelvin and it ranges usually between 2000 and 12,000. We're going to show you a diagram now. You're going to get the highest output of light from around 4,000 Kelvin. The higher or lower you get away from this number, you're going to get lower and lower outputs of light. So halogen bulbs are usually around 4,300 Kelvin, and this gives sort of an off-white color with a little bit of a yellow tint, and it does give the best output of light, which is why a lot of manufacturers choose to use it. As far as selection of temperature goes when it comes to halogens, there's really not much other color options to choose from, and if there is, it's generally not far off from what you're going to get anyway. Now if you're looking sort of in the wider range for your headlights, 
You're definitely going to want to look into LEDs because they generally measure about 5,000 Kelvin degrees and this provides that really nice white color. But if you're looking for a selection in that color, you're definitely not going to find it either because like I said, it's all white. If you're looking for a bunch of different color options alongside having the highest output of light, you're definitely going to want to look into HIDs because the colors can range from 2000 to 18,000 Kelvin and that's pretty impressive. In the test we did for the HIDs, we used a 6000 Kelvin bulb and this gives a crisp white light with a slight hint of blue. And this is honestly the highest that we'd recommend anyone go because you kind of any higher and you you really just hinder the light and after that it's pretty much just cosmetic at that point. So when it comes to price, halogens pretty much win it all because they really only cost about 20 bucks for a new set and um, since they're cheap this is why they're pretty much in most vehicles and a good set of HIDs or LEDs are going to run you about 100 to 150 bucks. So clearly they are the winner in this case, however that is before you take longevity into consideration. And when it comes to lifespan and longevity, the halogens, they don't quite measure up to the others to be honest. They generally need to be changed about every thousand hours or so. And when it comes to vibration, they're not, they don't take too kind to that, so this can also lead to them having to be changed more often. Um, with the HIDs, they generally last about like three times longer than the halogens and when they go out all you need to replace is the bulb which they only cost about like 30 bucks or so. Um, now with LEDs some companies have re reported a tremendous number of like 25,000 hours before having to change them and that's pretty astounding but keep in mind they're also still fairly new to the market so it does remain to be seen and they also do require some auxiliary parts to keep them cool and if those go bad then the lights go bad. Power consumption is another thing to consider when you're upgrading your headlights because too much draw has been known to cause problems on the factory equipment in some vehicles. So halogens generally consume the highest amount of power and will usually drain your battery faster than the other two will. However, they don't demand an excess of power that your headlight system are, isn't already prepared to handle. Now when it comes to LEDs, they actually have the lowest draw on power and are really unlikely to cause any problems when upgrading from halogens. With HIDs, however, while most cars haven't reported any issues with the upgrades, some have had flicker problems, shortages, wire melting, even some damaged components, and this is because of the high demand of power in the initial startup which is why that it's recommended you use a relay kit for installation and this can be kind of a drawback. To summarize this video we wanted to give you a quick overview of the pros and cons we thought of for each bulb. For the halogens we'll start with the cons. They usually have a low lifespan, they lack color options, tend to have lower light output when compared to their competitors and they usually draw a lot of power and create a lot of heat. For the pros, we think they have effective lighting since whatever light they do emit, they disperse it well and have an effective color range. They're plug and play, obviously very easy to uninstall and reinstall. They're cheap, and as we said before, most sets can be found for around $20, and they're very common. You'll have a hard time finding an auto parts store that doesn't carry them. For the LED pros, they have a long lifespan. These very well may be the last bulbs you even buy. They consume little power, which in turn does not create much heat, and they generally have little to no warm-up time before you get the maximum lighting. Now for the cons, they did at least in our testing do a poor job of dispersing light on the road. They're expensive to purchase and replace, they rely on auxiliary cooling which can cause premature failure, and also they can lack color options. Now for the HIDs, which are our favorites in this testing, we'll start with the cons. If not used in the proper housing, they can create a lot of glare, which can be unsafe. They can cause issues with some cars' electrical systems, which may require a relay kit. Uh, generally, they have a long start time before you get the maximum light. And they can be on the expensive side, although once a bulb goes bad, a replacement can be purchased for a reasonable price. For the pros, they do have the highest light output of all the other bulbs we tested, which can give you the furthest distance of sight in a darker location. They have many color options to choose from. 
They generally consume little power after startup and they tend to have a long lifespan. All right guys, so I hope we gave you some information maybe you didn't know and maybe it can help you out with your upgrade. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button. If you wanna see more from us, subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to leave them below and we'll see you in our next one. Bye.